G'day and welcome back to Stiffy's Workshop. Today we're going to be looking at J-Band bicycle spokes and all about them. With J-Band spokes there's a few things you're going to want to know if you break one or want to use one and that's going to be the length and how thick the spoke is sort of along its length and that sort of changes the characteristics of the spoke and obviously the length that it's going to affect if it's going to work in your wheel or not. So to measure the spoke the first thing you need is a spoke ruler. Um, this is a DT Swiss one which is quite a nice uh, quality spoke ruler. And all you're going to want to do is hook the front of the spoke in to the hole at the end of the spoke ruler and sort of apply a little bit of force down this length while on the spoke. And then you come up here and then you find that this spoke is in fact a 302 millimeter spoke. So that's a spoke length. And then from there, to work out the thickness, you can either use you know, a pair of calipers uh, along the length of it or some spoke rulers like this one are graduated. So They've got different lengths along their different measurements along their length. So this one goes from 1.5 mil all the way up to four millimeters. It'll measure, and the way you measure the spoke is uh, there's a couple of sections you're interested in. So one is just down here near the head of the spoke, and the way the tool works is you put it in at uh, a larger size, and you keep working down until it doesn't fit in the lower size, and it's the uh, larger size that it fits in. So this one. And the 2.34 fits really easily, it's got a bit of float in it, so it's probably smaller. A 2 fits pretty snug, so it's probably a 2, but we'll check a bit lower anyway. And one point doesn't fit, so this is a 2mm uh, initial section on the spoke. And then, sort of further down, so high quality spokes uh, usually go from thick to much thinner in the center. And that sort of adds to the spring of the spoke, so we'll just measure the center section as well. So again, two millimeters, feels like it's got a bit of float to it, so we'll try a size smaller. 1.8, seems about right, but we'll try a size smaller just to rule it out. And it doesn't fit in the 1.7 size, which means this spoke has a 1.8 center section. And then the last section you'll be interested in is this point here, just before the end of the uh, thread. So the standard 14 gauge spoke is two millimeters through this section. And then the threads are usually slightly larger because they're not cut, they're actually rolled into the spoke, which means that there's no material cut away, it's just sort of forced around and sort of almost forged into the into the thread. So we'll try two because we're expecting two. And it looks like two is gonna be the right one. We'll just double check it's not a not a 15 gauge spoke, so a 1.8 mil section here, and that doesn't fit. So this is a standard uh, two millimeter spoke in that section. So this particular spoke is 302 millimeters long. It goes from two millimeters to 1.8, back to two, and that's what we'd expect because this is a uh, DT uh, competition spoke, and that's sort of uh, what the what the design specs on this particular spoke are. So it all checks out. It's ready to use, and yeah, ready to go. You can't measure a spoke in a wheel, so you need to remove it from the wheel to measure it. You can't, because if this section's uh, obscured by the hub, you're just never gonna be able to measure it properly. So it must be removed if you need to measure one up. Um, and then it's really easy. So good luck with measuring your spokes and that's how it's done.